What's poppin'? Man. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, yo. Uh, it started off a good week. It really did. It was, it was poppin'. Trucking-wise. And today, not so good. Not so good at all. So, I'm driving home right now. Free. Crazy. Crazy. I booked the load last night. I was, the load that I had before, the load that I booked last night, was from Maine to Allentown. You know, that, that, that load that I always be on. <laughs> so, I booked that. Get there perfect on time. And I know they take mad long to unload me, so I just took my 10 out. The load that I was supposed to pick up Friday, today, didn't pick up till 5 p.m. and delivers tomorrow at 9 a.m. in Moonsocket, Rhode Island. So, I'm good. I'm thinking everything's good. So, I didn't want to start my clock early, so I just stayed in Allentown. 10 hour break. Clock's not started. I could have woke up 9 a.m. and drove the two hours to uh, Carlisle, PA, and um, see if they would have unloaded me early, but then they wouldn't have been. My clock would have been started. You know. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wait until like 1 30, which I did. I waited until 1 30 and I left, which got me there around 3 30, 3 40. I stopped, I took a shower, did all some stuff, so I got there a little later. But I was still early for my appointment. I go in. I give him my pickup number. And um, dude's rifling around the paperwork, and I'm like, nah, I just felt something about this load. And I've been, I've loaded here before, but not for a minute since. Ever since I worked for a fucking Western Express, I haven't fucking been there, but I've been there before. And they're not bad, it's not a busy place. But um, I just had a feeling about this last load because I made five grand this, this week so far. And this load was gonna give me 60, 64. And this is profit. This is after all the deductions that Ray Logistics gets that 20%. You know what I mean? This is what's coming to me. And, um, not profit, but gross. It's coming to me. Um, so 6400 anything over 60 is, is good. It's good. I, I, I'll take that and not complain. That's a good week. Five, not so good. Not so good. And, um, so I was like, this is the last load of the week. Something's gonna, something, nah. This week is going by way too perfect, like way too perfect for um, everything to just go smoothly. And I was right. First, he says he didn't find the paperwork, and then his supervisor came, whatever, they helped him, he helped him, and they found it in another pile. So I was like, all right, word. Woo, cool. And then I gave him a pickup number. And he's like, oh, somebody already came and got this load. And I'm like, uh. So I called a broker. And he's like, oh, first he puts me on hold for like five minutes. And then when he takes me off, I hear him talking to another lady, talking about some, basically trying to pass the buck. And basically they're like, oh, they didn't call us, they didn't tell us that the load was already blah, 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 blah. So I already knew the load was fucking thing. I was on my Bluetooth, on my headphones. So I started looking for other loads. I got right on the DAT app and I started looking for other loads. And, um, I can't, I mean, there was some loads. There was like 10, 12 loads. But I hadn't started calling for me. I had to call like a broker or something like that. And they were actually better loads coming home. But it was four o'clock. So none of them picked up. Well, some of, some of them did, but they the loads were already booked. So basically it's Friday, four o'clock, all the brokers got home. 
I'm not getting no load. I'm driving home right now 400 miles. 400 miles for free. For free. This has never been done in my whole career. For free. I've done this two other times. This is going to be the third. But it was from Connecticut and it was from New Jersey. So it wasn't crazy. But 400 miles for free, this hurts. This hurts. And I know people are going to say, why are you doing it? Why are you going to just wait until tomorrow, get a load? No, I got to go home because I got to watch my kids. I'm, I only work Monday through Friday. I only work Monday through Friday. So I'm forced to go home every weekend. I don't mind, obviously, but it does fuck up the money. I could be making a lot more, way more, if I had that extra two days to, to, to get loads. Obviously, I know I would have to take my 34, but it's the 34, you know what I mean? Like, I'll sneak that in somewhere. You know what I mean? It'll be fine. But, I'm driving home right now. Free. 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 I'm hurt. I really am hurt. Like, this shouldn't happen. But I gotta go home. I do. Jackson has his last football game this weekend. Not, not that that's the reason I would go home anyway, because I need to watch them. So... But Jackson has his last football game this this um tomorrow, Saturday. So I gotta be home. That's just what it is. And it's just unfortunate that I couldn't find any loads coming home. It sucks. It sucks. Yeah, I'm driving home right now for free. See, this is crazy. You shouldn't ever have to do this ever have to do this at all. But, this is another point I want to make. This shit happens. This shit happens. If you ain't gonna understand that this shit happens a lot, you ain't, you ain't gonna survive out this. You ain't gonna survive out this. It happens. Worse shit to this. And there's nothing you can do about it. You're not a company driver. You're not a company driver. I know most of my shit talks about owner operator, but let's talk about some companies. A company driver, those empty miles you'll be paid for. <laughs> I, I, I forgot. I forgot. They try to recompensate me with the um, trucker not used. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Insulting. Insulting. I just drove two hours to get to that load. And you're going to give me $250? And I know they don't know this, but they fucked up everything else. Because that fucked up my week. I was looking forward to ending the week on a good note. 6400 They fucked that up. They don't know that I actually, now I can't get another low home. They don't know where I'm coming from. They don't care. They don't care. You know? But that is trucking. That is trucking. I'm mad, but you gotta be mad and then just brush it off. Because what the fuck are you gonna do? You ain't, there's nothing you can do. I tried. I went on three load boards. I tried to look for loads. It's not like I want to be driving. Trust me. I didn't turn these tires until there was no option. But this is 400 miles for free hurts. Especially when the gas is the way it is right now. 4.30 a gallon. And this truck, and I know y'all gonna make fun of me for this, but... I know what 
videos. I be watching videos and I see the mile for a gallon you guys be getting. And I just wish, I just wish that I could get that. Some of y'all talking about six and seven, seven point three. This truck gets four point eight miles per gallon. I know. Talk this shit. I know. I know. I don't care. I mean, I care. I do. But what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, I bought the truck. I still don't regret it. It's fucking solid. And it's made me a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. So, I don't regret it at all, but it, it sucks up gas. It definitely sucks up gas. So, 400 miles for free sucks. It's terrible. It's terrible. I want to know in the comments, what's the most you've had to drive free? Deadhead. Like, let me know. I know there's gonna be a lot of 100, 200, what, 400? That's crazy. That's bad. That's absolutely insane. But it's a hard truck. Worst shit is gonna happen nothing you can do about it. When you run your own shit, you ain't, they're gonna give you that $250. That ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, I'll take it, obviously. But, um, that ain't gonna do nothing. And it fucked up the next, the next, you know what I mean? Like, if I had left, right when they were un done unloading me at the Allentown, if I had left early, and found out this news earlier, I would have definitely booked another boat. It, it wouldn't even have been a problem. As long as I booked the uh, new by like noon, I would have booked another boat. I couldn't even find, I never take cheap freight, ever. You look at my book, and I write down every single load I've ever had, Every single load I've ever had since I started um, with my own thing, all of them. I never take cheap freight. Never. Never. This load was, I didn't even calculate it, but I got 1400 for uh, like 390 miles. Yeah, so calculated, whatever. It's good. It's over 250. I know that. So, um, other loads, 250 a mile, 230 a mile, four dollars a mile, 413 a mile, 508 a mile, 276 a mile, 725 a mile, 985 a mile, 311 a mile. Those are the. I will not take a load. I had before, but I won't anymore. And that's only happened a few times. That's over under 250. Like, I don't take cheap, cheap freight. Like, I look at these load boards, and please, somebody let me know in the comments. Like, what is up with them prices? Like, 3,000 miles for like 1,100 bucks. Who takes these things? Please tell me that there's not somebody out there taking that. That will not even cover your fuel. That doesn't make any kind of logistical sense at all. So I don't know why I see him on the logo. It's insulting. It needs to stop. But if somebody's at, I don't even think the big, big companies, the huge companies, you know, you know what they are. Your Warner, your fucking Schneider, fucking Western Express, all those big companies. US Express, all that. I don't even think they would touch that freight. And they're the ones touching this cheap freight because, you know, they're, they're making money off of everything. They're paying these drivers close to nothing. And that's another thing. I was watching Trucker Brown's one of his videos right before, earlier today. Shout out to Trucker Brown. He was making some sense yet again. 
and some of these rookie drivers that's coming in and they're expecting so much sense a mile. Like, bro, you are fresh out of school. And you want your first job to be 60, 70 cents a mile? Are you fucking crazy? You don't even know that you can do this job yet. Like this motherfucker said, you don't even know if you can do the job. You've never been on the highway yet. They just gave you the license and you're demanding this money for your first hire? Like y'all people are crazy. Like I know people just, you know, they do, they, they think they just deserve shit, but whatever. Like, no. He was, he said he was getting paid 22 cents a mile, which is crazy. Like, that is kind of crazy. But when I started out, it was 20 fucking 2017, 2018. It was, I was getting 34 cents a mile from Western Express. And then like 36 or 37, but no, no, it was 50 cents a mile after certain miles. I was making good money, and then I can't say good money. But for my first year, hell yeah. I was flatbed. I was still putting in $1,100, $1,100 um, a week after taxes. Some of these drivers over there were getting raped. But I was still putting in every week after taxes because I knew how to run. I knew how to run in my first year. And I, obviously I learned so much more and I, my running just got better, but even my first year, I knew how to run. But yeah, y'all was tripping. Stay in your lane. Go, you know, be with these companies at first. Don't be expecting 70 cents a fucking mile. You're out of your fucking, you're crazy. You're not getting it. And you don't. What the fuck? The fuck you think you are? Like, how cocky are you coming out of fucking school? Hasn't even hopped in the truck yet, thinking that you, you deserve all the sense of mind. You don't even know if you can do this shit. Most people fucking do it. They get on one mountain in West Virginia, and they motherfucking. and they quit. That was almost me. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. My first day out, my trainer for Western Express. My first day was on 79 in West Virginia. I-79, West Virginia. I think it's I-79, yeah. We were on, we were at that pilot and he let me drive with my turn to drive. Boy, I was cool in my seat. But I was, I was sweating because it was like going up and down the mountain for the first time. Yeah, Timothy, fuck. So, um, but yeah, I, I didn't know if I could do the job after that. But then I was like, this is what I do. This is what I do. Now I go down the mountain like it's nothing. But I know I came away from the point. And the whole point is, I'm driving fucking home. 400 miles for free. But it is what it is. It is what it is. That's the point. Like, yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. And there's nothing you can do about it. I could, I could wait tomorrow, but then I wouldn't make it home. There's consequences, so it's just like, I only see my kids on the weekends. And sometimes when I pop, pop up, when I'm going to Maine and back, pop in and see him, you know what I mean? Like, this is precious time, so, yeah. I'm driving home for free. But yeah, let me know in the comments how far you've had to drive home for free. And um, I'm gonna end it like that. You know, what to do, like, subscribe, share, comment. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Be good.